Hey guys, Mighty here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the best OBS streaming settings for 2019. Now, I get asked in my stream all the time, you know, how does my stream look so good? You know, how is my OBS set up? And uh, I'm going to be showing you guys that in this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Settings, uh, in your General tab. You're not going to touch this, you're going to leave this alone. In your stream tab, if you use Twitch, set your service to Twitch. If you use Mixer, set that service to Mixer. Whatever you guys use, set that service up accordingly. Uh, and your server, you're gonna set to auto, which is recommended. It's just gonna find the fastest server near you for the least amount of latency and just for the best looking stream overall. Now in the output tab, I have my output mode set to advanced. Uh, you could use simple, but I like advanced a lot more. It just gives me a lot more options here. Uh, my audio track is set to one. My encoder is set to the new NVIDIA encoder. Uh, you could use X264 if you have a really fast CPU, but I have an i7 7700K 4 core 8 thread. Um, so the best it could do here is support like very fast, maybe faster, but if I go to like medium or slow, um, these presets will, I'll start getting encoding overload issues on my stream. I just think generally speaking, man, you could use the new NVIDIA encoder and your stream will still look great. So that's the one I would recommend. Um, you definitely want to enforce the streaming service encoder settings because if you don't do this, and let's say your bit rate is set to 10,000, uh, Twitch would probably see that. You know, I use Twitch, they'd probably see that. And since their maximum bit rate limit is 6,000, they would probably strike your channel down with a temporary suspension or maybe give you a warning. I'm not too sure. So definitely have that checked. Rate control, I have it set to CBR for a constant bit rate. Now to determine what bitrate you should use, you should run a speed test. Now this will ultimately determine, you know, what you can use here. Um, in my case, I use 6000 because my upload speed is 10. So I can get away with this. But if your upload speed is like 5 or 4, then you probably want to use like 2500, maybe 3000 kilobits per second. Because um, that's kind of pushing it if you start seeing a bunch of drop frames in your stream or you look at your stats and you start getting a bunch of drop frames and you know your upload can't handle it then definitely consider lowering this bitrate number here um so yeah as you can see my upload speed 12.3 uh, but that's negligible that could be higher or lower so i can definitely use 6000 for my bitrate uh as for keyframe interval twitch recommends two so just use two preset i have it set to max quality profile set to high uh, you want look ahead turned off, but psycho visual tuning you want turned on. Uh, this will just optimize your bitrate and give you better quality. GPU, leave that at zero. Max B frames, Twitch recommends two, so just leave that at two. Now in the audio tab, I have my sample rate set to 48 kilohertz. Uh, the reason for this is because if I were to say go to my sound settings, um, whatever my like desktop audio is set to, if I went into the advanced tab, uh, my default format is 24 bit, 48,000 Hertz studio quality. So therefore I'm gonna leave this at 48 kilohertz. Uh, channels even at stereo, desktop audio, whatever your desktop audio is, you're gonna select that accordingly. My mic is a Blue Yeti Pro. Uh, meters fast, peak meter, sample peak. You guys are gonna leave that alone. Uh, so that's it for this window. The next one is video. Uh, since I'm streaming at 1080p, my base canvas resolution will be 1920 by 1080 and my output scaled resolution will also be 1920 by 1080. Downscale filter, I have it set to Lanskos and common FPS values, I have mine set to 60. So if you're looking to stream at 60 FPS, set that sucker to 60. Hot keys, you guys modify that how you want. The advanced tab, my process priority is set to high. What this means is that OBS is going to be using all the resources on your computer and whatever else you're doing will come second. So if I were to say play a PC game, you know, OBS is going to come first, right? In terms of its process priority, like all the resources are going to be dumped into OBS and then my game's going to come second. Now, as ter like in terms of my gameplay, I don't really see that much of an issue like playing a game on my computer. The game still plays great, whether it be like Destiny 2 or Fortnite or Apex, whatever game I'm playing. I don't have any issues with frames missed or skip frames or anything here uh, when I have OBS set to high. So definitely do that. 
My color space is set to 709. Um, color range is partial. If I use full, my color scheme just looks horrible. So I always, I just stick with partial. That's about it here. Uh, the last thing you guys could maybe consider doing is dynamically changing bitrate to manage congestion. Uh, if you find that your upload speed is like six or seven and you're using like 6,000 and it's still kind of lagging a little bit, uh, you could have this set to dynamically change your bitrate. And what this will do is if it sees, you know, you're not meeting the bitrate expectations, it's gonna lower it, you know, within OBS without you having to do anything. So you won't drop frames or anything. OBS will manage this for you. So it's really nice. Uh, sources, definitely want to enable browser source hardware acceleration. This is a great option if you uh, if you use a lot of browser source alerts. So in my case, I use Streamlabs alerts. This is definitely something you want enabled. Um, and with that said, guys, that's pretty much it. Those are my OBS settings. That's how I get great looking streams. So with that said, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.